Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. I'm Fiona and today I'm going to do a bloom swipe. So doing an acrylic pour swipe using the bloom recipe which includes this house paint, the uh, British Paints Walls interior and this is in a night sky colour which is almost a Payne's grey, uh, not quite black and uh, I'm going to use this pre-loved canvas. Yeah, let's see what sort of results we get. So I'm going to pour on my pillow paint. Just trying to decide how to do this. I'm not sure how much to put on. I think that that would be a, a reasonable amount. Let's just spread it a little bit, see how. Now I've got to remember I'm not spinning it this time, so maybe maybe I do need a little bit extra. Right, let's try that. Now I have did just give it a little shake, so it's got quite a few bubbles in it. I am thinking I need to thin this house paint. Oh, those bubbles aren't popping. There we go. Alright, so I think I want to do a long swipe. And I'm going to pour my colours on and then swipe through them. Like I do my normal swipes. Let's put some puddles down. So that's gold and this is like a bronze. I've got some pearl brown. This is actually, I haven't mixed this one, so this is a um, Arteza. Then I've got some cream for some brightness. And some champagne gold. And now I'm just going to fill up the areas with some extra colour. be fine. And I'm going to swipe through with my oxide black and then I'm going to tilt it. There is a lot of bubbles in here. Which I'd like to get rid of. I don't feel like they're popping very well. Oh there we go. Just need to be a little bit closer I think. I did shake the can a little bit. Hopefully I've got enough this black swipe mix. I suspect I might only need to go through it once, so otherwise I might have to make up some more. Just filling all that in. Okay, 
I'm just going to put this on a bit of an angle for ease. I feel like there's a little something missing. And do I want to swipe again? And it is beautiful. I don't think I'd want to go with a big one if I did go again. do a loaded palette knife. Alright, let's try a loaded palette knife. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put it. I need the lighter colours, I think. Oh my goodness, look at that. I didn't even see that before. Do you want to lose all that? from here. All right, I'm gonna stretch this out. I haven't got anything to lose really. This is um, a reused canvas. Wasn't planning to do the scoops, but uh, it ended up that way. go off the edge yet. Just going to spread it out. Oh, I have gone off the edge. All right, let's go off the edge this way. Go this way. There's a lot of paint on here, so I went a bit overboard, I think. I 
think I've got the balance right with these bits here. I am wondering whether I should be wearing a mask for this though because um, I can smell it and it is house paint. So I probably should read the instructions on the back. Low odour, very low rock it says. Alright, I'm going to pop the bubbles and then I will bring you in for a wet look. Although I'm still deciding whether the problem is if I tilt this way more, I'm going to lose some of that, I think. Oh no, that's cool. I like that. I really like this side, but I like that bit on that side, so I'll be interested to see what it looks like from your angle, because I reckon it might look better. getting lots of spots coming up from getting rid of these bubbles. That's part of the character. I really like this bit up here. And I like this here too. This is all like this. It not enough variety, I think. It would have been nice to have some more colour through there. But um, yeah, that's why I want to tilt it more that way. Uh, if I tilt it, then I'm going to probably lose this bit here, which I think helps the composition. I know there's still quite a bit of paint on there. That's interesting. Brings it. It's got this real flow happening. I don't mind that it bunched up a bit there because that actually gives this area the interest that I was looking for. So even though it's kind of one color, it's got variation in it now, so that's good. Okay, here is the wet result. And my eye keeps getting drawn to this area here and it's that brightness against the black. I do love the, um, the drag that happened through here. And the cells and the lacing. It's more, more cell-like, I think. This is kind of lacing up through here. And then I really like this bit through here as well, which had the drag. I'm gonna get a bit of um, the black on black there, or black on gray. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing this one dry to see if those metallics give me a shine, particularly the, the pearl brown. Yeah, so I'll bring you back when it's dry. Okay, here is the dry result. Let's have a look at the shine first. So that's quite pretty. So, <clears throat> oh, I'm losing my voice. I'm just going to turn it around. I'm not sure which way up I like it, but um, I did have a problem. So, I don't know if you recall when I was tilting it. Um, I was tilting it and this was bunching up here. The paint has ended up very thick there and I've got this crack. So you can actually, actually, so you can actually see through to the uh, paint underneath. This is kind of 
cracking here as well and I've got a few little dents so um, I think for tilting it would be better if I thinned the paint a little bit more um, just because when you're spinning it the force sort of makes it evenly come off the canvas whereas when you're tilting it you can get sort of puddles like I've ended up getting um, I could go in and like paint this gold as a feature but um, then I feel like I'd need to have it somewhere else like it'd be a bit random if I just <laughs> did that bit but otherwise you know I, I love the size of these cells through here they look really good and then it sort of blends into lacing anyway some stuff learnt from that one. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that and I shall see you all in the next one. Bye.